Shares of Trump-linked SPAC close up 350% following news of social Whoa. media deal. The stock of the SPAC company Digital World Acquisition Corp skyrocketed on extremely heavy trading volume after news of a merger that would launch former President Donald Trump's planned social media platform. It surged 357% Thursday, and trading was halted multiple times due to volatility. Wow. Dweck was among the top 10 most popular names on Reddit's Wall Street Bets chat room, even exceeding meme stock GameStop's <laughs> mentions. Woot. So, so, so Trump Donald Trump announce, announces he's going to be launching Truth. What is it called? Truth. Dot social, Truth I believe. Stuff, Truth yeah. social. Yeah, truth, the Trump social media truth platform. Not social. I mean, this would be interesting because I, I think he's a little too late. He had a lot of momentum. He could have, you know, people were begging him to do this when he was still president of the United States. They were like, hey, get off the big tech platforms. There needs to be an alternative. And for some reason, Donald Trump waited and waited and waited. And how is he going to tell everyone about this social media platform? I mean, some media organizations are talking about it, but is he going to email everyone about this? Yes. <laughs> I mean, he will, yeah. And that <laughs> might work and might not, but there's a lot of people this disillusioned with them. There's a lot of people that are uh, disenfranchised with the whole Trump movement. So will this be as popular as it would have been if he actually did this when he was president? And, I, don't, and, I don't think and, so. And you want me to sign up for Parler and Getter and, and all of these platforms? Whoa, like, dude, yes. I got a handful already. Yeah. I got Twitter. I hate it. But I don't really pay much attention to Twitter, to be honest. Like, I, I really don't care. That's where I'm at. That's the least platform I use. But I, I was just talking to Ian earlier about mines, like you were mentioning. Because there's so many coming out. It's like, which one do I go to? Do I go to Rumble? Do I go to Gab? Do I go to go to Mines? I mean, what you know, I can't be on everything. That's, I can't. Right. You go to Trump. That's a problem a lot of people mm -hmm. are having. You, you, we need to build software that bridges all of them. I agree. There, there's a lot of alternatives. Float, Hive, Steemit, uh, uh, Mines. I, I can name like... Uh, about 10 other ones that, you know, parlor that, that people use all the time. And, and it's hard because you only have echo chambers there. Let's be honest. And let's have a real conversation. When you go to these kind of websites, it's the same people that were kicked off. It's the same people that regurgitate usually the same talking points. And if you want to go where the people are, where the audience is, where the normies are, where the Kyles and Karens are, you got to go on Twitter. Right. You got to go on Facebook. It's you got to go on Instagram. And that's where you reach out the most amount of people. And I, I think that's why there has been such a boom in censoring people, shutting them down and uh, trying to just slowly silence them a little bit when they counter the narrative. Twitter is basically like like the town center where everybody's talking about stuff. Yeah. And there are other platforms, but they tend to be very community based. You well, know, if, if you go to one platform, you'll find a lot of people who are into, you know, this particular culture, whereas Twitter is very generalist. Yeah. Well, it's they, a garbage platform, you know. Yeah. yeah, but they have the infrastructure. They were able to build the infrastructure because of their relationships that they had with governments that were able to give them an unfair advantage against everyone else. Now, when we're talking about Rumble or Parler, they don't have that same advantage. They don't have the same kind of infrastructure as all these big tech companies that could do things that much faster, that much quicker, and have the user base that they don't have. So this is a very difficult situation. What's that? DWAC. Yes. What's DWAC? That's Trump's the thing he merged with. DWAC? DWAC. They got to change that <laughs> that's name. Yeah. That's, that's not a, violating the YouTube community DWAC. guidelines. Right. You'd think you'd be more clever with that. But Trump's rolling out his truth social to stand up to the tyranny of big tech. Oh, please. I'm not convinced it would please. actually do I don't think it. I don't think it will. And you want to talk about tyranny. Apparently, this guy forked Mastodon. This is what I've been reading reports on. The, the Truth Social is a fork of Mastodon, and then they abuse the license. They Basically, it's AGPL, which means if you take the code and you change it, you have to make all your changes public. And if they didn't make all their changes public, then they violated the software license. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be running for president? Well, You're violating? This is insane. Well, that's one source saying it. Let's wait. Because a lot of you know news around Trump has always been kind Lies. of conflated, a bit. Uh, to say the least. <laughs> so uh, I'm not a Trump fan, but I know when I see a headline with Trump in it, to uh, take a step back and be like, okay, yeah. okay, let's do some research yeah, on line. this. Let's let's get the textbook out there. Let's get wiki, let's get the you know let's get all the resources out there to make this sure is, this is what they do right yeah. with uh, like Freedom Phone. So when we had the guy from Freedom Phone on, all these news stories were like it's a garbage, fake, you know, whatever. And then I just ask him, is it a, a knockoff? And he's like, it's a custom phone. And I'm like, okay, it has it is based similarly on some of these phones. Yes, okay. So the media is basically trying to falsely frame what Freedom Phone is and act like he's just buying a phone for ten bucks and selling it for twenty. Mm. When in reality, it's like they actually did work developing it. Said it. We, we haven't tested them yet. The point is, maybe the phones are trash. No one's actually done any forensic analysis on these things. No one's actually run through them. The media just 
lies. Yeah. Yeah, I've about seen, everything. Uh, Trump's truth social may be sued over apparent breach of open source terms. That's from uh, Washington Examiner. Bro, it's Gizmodo. not even out yet. It says may be no, facing yeah. to it doesn't say. Yeah, but exactly. Uh, that's well, up to mass. Well, that's how they get the, you. Uh, this might happen. This mm -hmm. may be the thing. Again, uh, where's the facts? Where's the resources? Where's the people actually coming out and standing behind a statement? Almost every statement you see in the mainstream media now is sources said or officials said. You can't believe any of those people. Based on the screenshots I have seen, it absolutely is based on Mastodon. Oh, I didn't realize screenshots was were forensic <laughs> evidence. Yeah, Reliable exactly. Source. Exactly. Bro, so you can't jump the gun on this stuff. Yeah. No, I'm reading. Uh, and now, Ma and Gizmodo now, article. Yeah. Oh, Gizmodo, bastions oh, of great boy, journalism. Yeah, I, I mean, know. it's not like it. I'm not making it up, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, but yeah. like maybe when they actually launch the platform, we can make a determination about what they're doing with open source and whether or not they're viol violating any licenses. This is, comes from if people they, that are in the beta. I think is. The guy if they if they if they're not even if, not, if it's not even publicly available, have they violated any license? I don't know. About the answer that. is no. Yeah. Most people talking about Trump are are deranged or mentally defunct in many different ways. And they go into this fervor where they literally start connecting dots that are not there. And again, not a Trump fan. People know I'm not a Trump fan, but let's be honest here. A lot of the news around him has been absolutely fake. And because of that fake news, it galvanizes and double downs his audience to support him that much more. And if they were just, you know, honest and, and real and tried to actually do some legitimate reporting, maybe we could have criticized him on actually the bad things he did because he wasn't a perfect president. He did some bad things, but there was no way to even criticize him, him doing bad things because everyone was just screaming like utter idiots. So this guy, yeah. uh, Michael Talon says was able to set up an account using the handle Donald Trump on Truth Social, former President Trump's new website. Although the site is not officially open, uh -huh. a URL was discovered allowing users to sign up anyway. That sounds like a violation of the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Yeah. Let's see if the feds actually go after any of these people for doing that. Yeah. It's a dumb law, by the way. I don't want them to. But if, if you if you get a URL that you are not allowed to access and then use it anyway and try it, that's actually illegal. Dumb law, by the way. It's I bring sketchy. it up because the government would absolutely go after anybody who dares oppose the establishment. These people are, they're mocking Trump, so it'll be totally fine. But that being said, how can you violate a license if the website isn't publicly open and people yeah. are breaking in? Yeah, uh, very good point that I'm happy. I'm just, I just to, can't stand. Yeah. It's all lies all yeah, the time. It always all, is. Yeah. They're, they're, the Trump derangement syndrome is real. I mean, we all know people who they just they wake up every morning. Imagine letting a guy like that live rent free in your brain. It's it, it's it's really fascinating because it, it's like you think about it like this is like I always look at Trump as like the uh, what? Okay, you got to figure out what ma what makes people so upset about Trump. Right, it's because he holds people accountable. He's a he's a loud mouth. He's like the guy at the end of the bar that's drunk, saying that he knows how to fix the country. I mean, like, look, he, I look at him as like the guy from Bar Rescue. You guys ever watch that show, uh -uh. Bar Rescue? Mm -hmm. It's a guy that fixes bars up. He's a guy from Long Island, like a big, you know, big buffalo looking guy from <laughs> and Long he Island. At and he people. screams. He's just yeah. he's like a Trump, right? No. So I don't care what that guy says. I don't care what 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 kind of skeletons he has in his closet. Just fix my bar. Just like like with Trump, just fix the country. I don't care. I don't need a daddy up there. Yeah, that's why I feel like a lot of these people that hate Trump so much, who loved Obama so much, and they love Kamala and Biden and all that, what do they all have in common? They talk to you like children. Mm -hmm. They want a daddy. They want to feel good. They want everything to be cozy. Whereas Trump held, like said, look, the world's a jungle. You know what I mean? It's like that. Like there's a lot of problems. We got to take this guy. We got to do this. We got to. It's holding people accountable. It's keep. It's putting people. You know, it's personal accountability, which is which is lost. I think he held people accountable for his actions. Whereas, like you have Biden up there on a, on a fake stage. You know, with, with a with a with a like a marionette with with, with puppet Seriously. strings above him, and he's reading a teleprompter. He can't even get through a sentence half half the time. I'll, I'll, I, I mean. T talking back, back about Mastodon, I'll tell you what my criticism of Trump is. Yeah. Mastodon's open source. They, they, they want and encourage people to create different versions, different rules. I, I, you know, I pulled it up. Open, free and open source, self-hosted social networking, microblogging, similar to Twitter, blah, blah, blah. It's not even public yet. Tr uh, Trump hasn't released this. They, they found a URL to break in. Maybe when he publishes, he won't put the license, you know, credit or whatever in. I don't know. It's not the point right now. The point is... Why are they mad about this? Yeah. Why are they mad at someone for taking the, the code and using it? And more importantly, why can't Trump just build something? Well, yeah. they're mad because it's a GPL license. And if you take GPL and make it private, you're violating GPL. Who said he made it private? Uh, if you don't attribute 
GPL if you don't get attribution. Not, he hasn't even launched We're it yet. Right. Yet. The point is, but that's why he's, Trump didn't even do up. anything, and they're like, he's using Mastodon. It's like, you want people to yeah. use it. It's open source. That's the point. No, right. it's not. Yeah, it's, uh, free imagine, software is different than open source software. Imagine if with with uh, open network, we were like, we've created this great application for people to use, and then as soon as someone we didn't like used it, we were like, oh, oh I can't believe someone I don't like is using the free software right. we made. It's if they make it proprietary without giving and That's you, not right. happening right now. That's my point. They're, they're using that as an excuse to be mad, and nothing has happened. Right. It's not even out. It's not publicly available. And they're acting like the apocalypse has already occurred. I know this says that they, they in Truth Social's claims that all source code is proprietary. That's a claim that apparently well, this article when, that when, when, when Trump takes it public and that's there, then by all means, we should, we should, we should definitely talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, then you could guys. criticize it. Yeah. Trump could yeah. cure because cancer and they'd say doctors are losing jobs. It's because <laughs> Trump is back, you guys. They get a chance to write 50 million stories about how he's screwing everything up already. This site's not even open and they're jumping down his throat for what? They have absolutely no evidence. Right. They have screenshots. They got into a URL they weren't supposed to get into. And they're like, oh my gosh, Trump's doing everything wrong. Oh, really? Like you were telling yeah. us for the past Don't they realize this years? backfires? Now we're all interested in this. Right, exactly. I'm definitely <laughs> interested. Well, well, to, I mean. to, to add to your point, uh, uh, Joey, there, Trump definitely kind of represents the tough father. And the Democrats kind of represent the deranged, crazy cat lady that smells like pee, uh, in my opinion, because they're just like totally unhinged, totally not talking about the topics. And they're trying to blame everything on Trump, trying to blame everything on the dad, trying to blame everything it's, on him, 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 him. Just, and and again, he, he, he made some mistakes. I criticized him throughout his presidency. I, did, I think he deserved some criticism, but none of that criticism was even heard uh, because of the insanity that was created by these people that literally had no talking points, no basis right. to even attack him on. Daddy issues. Yeah, exactly. The silver lining here is if he is using a Mastodon fork, that means it's part of the Fediverse, which means that if he opens up the code, which you're supposed to do, then we can integrate with it. This is really great. This is, this is good. Yeah, yeah. The, the Fediverse is basically... Uh, let, let me read this uh, to you guys about Mastodon, what Trump's social network basically does. They say, uh, for Mastodon, Gab, a controversial network, blah, 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 far right, changed its software platform to a fork of Mastodon and became the largest Mastodon node in July 2019. That's right. Mastodon, the biggest node, is Gab. In response, Mastodon's main contributors stated in their blog they were completely opposed to Gab's project and philosophy, criticized Gab. They blocked the content saying it was all racist or whatever, but they could only block it from their servers. What that means is truth.social, if Trump gets it up and running and you have an account on it, maybe Mastodon says we're banning Trump's platform, but they can't ban you. This is good news, especially for the stuff we're working on using the Fediverse. We're getting away from the centralized control of communications. No more Zuckerberg, Wojcicki, or whatever, Dorsey, deciding to nuke your account because it'll be your private website. Services can decline service to you, but you can always find an alternative where there's real competition. So this is this is good. This is good stuff. Good, good, good job, Trump. I agree.